Dear students, welcome to all of you in this video lesson of period first year of Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. Today, we will have a discussion on grammar translation method, its principles, goals, procedure of teaching, and its merits and demerits of grammar translation method. The three letters I have written here, the abbreviation for these three letters are grammar translation method. The topic is prescribed in the second unit. The name of the unit is different approaches and theories to language learning and teaching. This course, Pedagogy of English, is for exclusively for both regular and distance mode students of B.Ed. In this video lesson, we will try to find out what is grammar translation method, what are the major principles of grammar translation method, what are the goals of GTM, what are the teaching procedure, and last, merits and demerits of grammar translation method. It is a method, it's an oldest method used to teach second, foreign, and classical languages. When I say second language, I mean second language is a language we learn after learning a first language. Let us have an example of a Kerala child. After learning his mother tongue from his home, he leaves his home and he is admitted to the schools. After learning his mother tongue from his home, he is learning second language from his school. That is what the concept of the second language. Shall we go for the concept of foreign language? Foreign language is a language originally from another country than the speaker. Let us have an example for foreign languages. English for us it is a foreign language. Classical language, a kind of language that is often ancient and prestigious and is large amount of literature is, is having in it. For example, Latin and Greek languages are classical languages for foreign countries. As we know, Sanskrit language it is a classical language for Indian people. GTM was used to teach classical languages, so it is also called classical method. Another name of GTM is classical method. Even nowadays, GTM is used to teach and learn model languages like French, German and English. Let us have a little history on this method. In a systematic way, it was started in Germany and introduced when British people came to India. J. V. Medinger in 1783 advocated that language was best learned through grammar translation. The German scholar Karl Plod is mostly associated with creating the framework of grammar translation method. The two guys are very behind of grammar translation method, J. V. Medinger and scholar Karl Plod. Now I will be defining what is grammar translation is all about. This method teaches the meaning of target language its words, phrases and sentences by translating word for word into mother tongue. What is the definition I have given here? The target language words, phrases, sentences are being translated into mother tongue. This method makes the students to memorize different grammatical rules and large amount of vocabulary in target language. According to Macmillan, even though GTM is often considered as an old method, GTM has a remarkable success in the field of teaching and learning of target language. Let us have an idea on which are the major principles of grammar translation is. A second language can be easily learned through translation. They believe their philosophy is that once a target language is being translated into mother tongue, it is very easy to learn target languages, words, phrases and sentences. Now, we will be looking at the second principle of grammar translation method. 
to memorize grammar rules and vocabulary of target language. It is through previous knowledge of grammar and vocabulary of mother tongue. The target language grammar rules and vocabulary of target language will be learned through the help of or by the help of mother tongue knowledge in grammar and vocabulary. Fine. The structure of target language is best learned when compared with mother tongue. It is their third principle in it. They are telling that when the language is being compared and contrasted with mother tongue, it is easy to learn a language. Deductive method is a major principle of grammar translation method. In deductive method, as we know, the rule will be teaching first, then we will be going with the use of the examples. That is what deductive method is mean by. For example, I will be teaching present continuous tense. I will be giving what are the rules making the present continuous tense. After explaining the rules, I will be giving the example. The students will be practicing that examples eventually. Fine. Whole class is dominated by mother tongue, no target language. Both teacher as well as students will be using mother tongue confidently. The authority in the classroom is the teacher. The role of the teacher is well defined in this method. He or she dominate and control the class. He is authoritative, authoritative in his class. The student, the role of the students is well defined. He is a recipient of the knowledge. Now let us have a goals of GTA. The first goal is to enable the students to read and interpret the literature of target language, to translate classical literature into mother tongue, to have accuracy in writing skill of target language, to help students to read and appreciate foreign language literature. <music> Teaching procedure of grammar translation method, it is absolutely is being adopted from the method followed by Lassen Freeman. Now we will be looking at the, what are the teaching procedures suggested by Lassen Freeman. The class, whole class will be reading a test written in the target language. That test will be written in the target language. Students translate the passage from the target language into their mother tongue. Students ask the questions and the teacher answers the question in their native language. Students write answers for comprehension questions. Students then translate new words from the target language to their mother tongue. Teacher gives grammar rules and students apply the rule by using the new words. Students memorize vocabulary. Teacher asks the students to tell the grammar rule. Students memorize the rule. Mistakes are corrected by giving the right answers with an example of grammar. Little attention is given to the content of the test. Their concentration for teaching the grammar. Their concentration will not be the content of the test. Now let us have a little clarity on what are the merits of grammar translation method. When two languages are compared, the ability to comprehend meaning of the abstract words and complex sentence can be improved. When two language sentences, both target language as well as the mother tongue sentences are being compared, it is easy to learn a language. That's the first merit of grammar translation method. Look at the second merit. The focus on understanding literary test will improve reading and writing abilities of students. This method enables students to increase their vocabulary in target language. It saves good amount of time of the student and teaches. It can be even adopted for the average and below average teacher. Even though the average teacher who is behind, lagging behind the communicative competency or fluency, they can even teach using this grammar translation method. Child learns target language better with the help of the mother tongue. It is a research finding is that with the help of the mother tongue, a target language will be easily learned. The comprehension of the children can be tested easily by this method. It can be easily tested 
with the help of ask, asking the question to the students. The emphasis on accuracy enabled the students to learn the correct grammar of the target language. Now we will be looking at the demerits of grammar translation method. Here in grammar translation method, they have given over emphasis on translation cannot make the learners free from dependence on the first language. They always will be dependent on the first language usages. When they will be using first languages, then over emphasis on translation will happen. That is the first demerits of grammar translation method. It neglects listening as well as speaking and gives over emphasis on reading and writing. They ignore the possibility of listening and speaking. They will be giving over emphasis on reading and writing skills. Memorizing grammar rules and vocabulary of the target language do not motivate students to actively communicate in the target language. When grammar translation is followed, it is very difficult to improve the student's communication skill, fluency, communication competency, communication fluency, etc. It is dull and mechanical method. The students become simply a passive recipient of knowledge. I will be, I already explained about the, the meaning of passive recipient. They will be listening without giving any ideas to the teacher. They will be only the passive recipient. That is a, one of the demerits of grammar translation method. The children first think in their mother tongue and they convert the ideas into target language. It is very meaningful, very comprehensive that when we are trying to think in our mother tongue, it will take time to communicate target language. This method ignores all concentration of phonetics, pronunciation and fluency in the speech. Idiomatic expressions are very difficult to translate. As we know, the idiomatic expressions are very hard to translate perfectly. That is the last demerits of grammar translation method. Then we will be telling one more demerits and we will be concluding here. It is uninteresting. It is bookish. No teaching or learning aids are used to make lesson interesting. Only the lectures of the teachers will be following in the classroom. The, there, there will not be no usage of the learning or teaching aids in the classroom. In this video lesson, we have discussed what is a grammar translation method. What are the major principles and goals of grammar translation method? What is the teaching procedure used in grammar translation method? The last, you remember, it is being discussed that what are the merits and what are the demerits of grammar translation method. Even for a reference, you can read more about this topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. For further details, you can write us on this address. I will be stopping here with an expectation that I will be back with you with an another topic. Thank you.